Hey everybody, it's Mike here with you with my buddy Rich out at the flying field on the Sonex 413 channel and we're doing some testing today. This is my new experimental capacitor ship. It, I'm trying to make a, a big capacitor ship and see if, how I can make it work. Now uh, the wings for this are a replacement set of wings of molded foam from a GWS old Park Flyer de Havilland Beaver and uh, I had those kicking around the shop for years. Piece of carbon fiber tube, some three millimeter foam for the tail surfaces and uh, two eight millimeter by twenty millimeter electric motors and a great big forty farad super capacitor. A blue one. A blue one. It says heater on it. And I think it's going to... Those are the best. Those are the best. Well, we're going to find out. We're, right now, we just want to see if it's going to glide or, you know, if it needs a balance adjustment or anything. Wow, that's pretty good, Mike. Not too bad. Super. All right. Right into the breeze, Richie, down that way. Let's see what it can do. Wow, floats. Okay, let's try one more. I better put my phone number on that right now. <laughs> Jeez, I'm, a, I'm afraid to run the motors on it, Rich. Oh man. You know what, we should probably tie a, cr a 20 foot crepe paper streamer on the tail. Give it a little, uh, you know, tie one hand behind its back. Holy cow. I think that, yeah, I think that flies too good, Rich. I think you might need a, to put a little rudder in it. Well, let's, that looked like it was turning right. Let's, uh, let's try a couple more glides, see if the right turn is consistent. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's all in slow motion. Yeah, looks like a consistent right turn. I'm scared to put any power to it, man. <laughs> All right. We're deciding what to do here. I'm afraid to put power to this thing. It's just, uh, it's a flyaway for sure. It's so light. I, I want to see maybe one one or two more glides, Richie, so we, we make well, sure. There's thunderstorms in the area. We, we can't waste too much time. Uh, all right. But Ready? A couple more glides. Let's just see. It was freewheeling too. No kidding. Freewheeling. Well, you know what? That that right turn is definitely consistent. Let, we'll try a little powered, lightly powered version. Oh, Christ, Mike, I would already be flying it by now. <laughs> That's why I lost more airplanes than you too. I know. Well, only one more than you. Yeah. And we both lost a lot of them well, over the years. You got the Ranger back. We both lost two, but you got one back. Yeah, well, I didn't know we were keeping score. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, at least it's easier to see in the trees. It's got some good size to it. Now, I, I checked the uh, charge on that a, a couple of minutes ago. We got under a volt. That is right now 0.7 of a volt. Let's uh, give it that same launch you just did right down the corner of the field there I think with the switch on with the switch on and we're gonna see what it does with just that point seven of a volt yeah all right well you know it needs more than that that breeze came up right at the last minute yeah well let's let's put just a little charge we'll go up to like point eight of a volt or something 
right there. All right, we're just going to... We got the car design. That's right, we're just going to go right in there with the thing. All right, now let's see. No frills. Okay, I'm looking at the voltmeter. 0.6 of a volt. 0.7. Point eight, point eight six. All right, let us try that. You got to hit both of those switches at the same time and give it a nice smooth launch. Well, now what's that telling us? It, it wasn't turning right anymore. Oh, uh, the wind might have been blowing it left. All right, but that's not an excessive amount of power. Let's put a little more than that and see what it'll do. All right, this is, uh, what was that? 1.3 volts, right? Okay, we'll put a little more than that. Okay, this is uh, 2.1 volt. Yeah, right down towards that way, I'd say. Yeah, Good baby. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a floater. Well, maybe we try another tenth of a bolt. All right, we're up to 2.2 .2 right now. That's where we were last time. We're going up to 2.5 this time. 2.3. Ready to disconnect. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Disconnect. There's the open circuit voltage. You can see 3.2. Richie, would you please do the honors, sir? Well, that's the other thing I was thinking on this, is maybe we need a little more dihedral, too. Oh, weed whacker. Yeah, we'll turn that off. Okay, all charged. All charged, sir. And I seen the tail move. All right, back to the laboratory. We're on the right track. I'm on the right track. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, YouTubers. No. All right, we'll be back. It's a trip to the laboratory. We're gonna get make some adjustments. I think I know what it needs. Wait till you see this thing go next time out. Take care, everybody.